This is the new Ferrari 296 GTB, the first V6 powered Ferrari since the Dino 246 GT went out of production in 1974. Not only that, but it's a plug-in hybrid as well. Almost seems like sacrilege, right? Well, you'll be happy to learn it's all for the sake of performance. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this new car. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. The new 296 looks very much like a smaller SF90, but then that's exactly what it is. Up front, there's tiny headlights and dinky daytime running lights that sit above small air intakes. And there's a thin but wide mesh grill sitting below that as well. There's not much fuss down the side either. It's all very simple and uncluttered. Really what you've got here is just a classic sweeping Berlinetta design with some smart looking 20 inch alloy wheels. Just like the SF90, the 296 GTB gets four square taillights at the back. Though here, they're topped by two LED bars rather than having individual outlines. Sitting at the center is a massive single exit exhaust pipe, just on top of a properly functional carbon fiber diffuser. Just like the outside, there's an unfussy feel to the Ferrari 296 GTB's interior. The dashboard is completely devoid of buttons, and there isn't even a central infotainment screen. Instead, if you want to control satellite navigation and multimedia stuff, you'll be doing it through the digital driver's display. You can have a screen for your passenger as well, which will show them exactly how fast you're going, as well as the revs and gear you're in. Even the steering wheel is rather minimalist, though it does house the engine stop-start as well as the famous Ferrari Manatino dial. You can use this to control the different driving modes, e-drive, hybrid, performance and qualifying, which is pretty much the sportier setting. The headline act for the 296 GTB is its V6 engine. More specifically, it's a 2.9 litre twin turbocharged unit linked up to a single electric motor. It might be smaller than the F8 Tributo's 3.9 litre twin turbo V8, but the package works together for even more punch. In total, the 296 GTB produces 840 horsepower and 740 newton metres of torque. That's about as much as you'd find in Michael Schumacher's old Ferrari F2004 V10 F1 race car from back in the day. Now all this power is sent to the rear wheels through an 8-speed automatic gearbox as well. Unlike Ferrari's other plug-in hybrid, the SF90, which actually has motors on the front wheels, so it's all-wheel drive. Needless to say, the 296 isn't quite as fast as the more powerful SF90, but it'll still do 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds and go on to a 205 mile an hour top speed. Thanks to the 7.45 kilowatt hour battery, you'll be able to get 15 miles of electric only driving from the 296. Despite all the new electrical tech, the 296 GTB weighs in at 1,470 kilos. That's only 35 kilograms more than the existing F8 Tributo and 28 kilograms less than the McLaren Atura, which is another hybrid supercar. You'll be able to get the new 296 GTB with something called the Assetto Fiorano package. This is a similar option as you can get on the SF90 Stradale. This brings some new carbon fiber panels and trims, plus some shock absorbers from Ferrari's race cars. You'll get the option of a livery inspired by classic race cars too, as well as some ultra sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 R tires. Now, before you all get too worried, don't worry, Ferrari isn't dropping the F8 Tributo for the 296 GTB. Rather, the two will be available alongside each other. Anyone ordering about now should get the 296 GTB early in 2022. If you want one, it'll set you back around £230,000 for a standard car and closer to about three hundred grand for a GTB with the Assetto Fiorano package and a few choice options. Anyway, if you're thinking about selling your car in order to buy a new car, click on the pop-out banner up there to go to CarWow because we can help you sell your car. All you have to do is input the details of your car, upload a few photos, and you'll get offers back on your car from our trusted dealers. You can pick the offer that's best suited for you and they'll come and take your car away and give you the cash for it. Simples. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Also, let me know if any other videos you'd like me to do in the comments below. If you click there, you can watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can actually sign up to the Car Wow newsletter, where we'll keep you up to date of all the latest news and reviews from the car world in between these video uploads. So just click on that, sign up, it's completely free. And of course, you can cancel anytime you want to. Thanks for watching. See you next time.